Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the solar generators. From now on, just to let you guys know, my regular viewers, normally we just repair machines. Well, that's all changed, and if you don't change and adapt with YouTube, you're not gonna make it anywhere. So, on Saturdays at 10 a.m. will be my normal repair videos of machines, zero turns, weed eaters, boats, you name it. And Sundays will now be known as solar Sundays and it will be all about solar power. I am a huge advocate of solar. I use it every day in my office and my shop. So from now on it's going to be Solar Sunday. Please subscribe. Hi guys. Welcome to Solar Sunday. Get it? Solar Sunday. Okay, so I'm not very funny. <laughs> you serious? Today's video is going to be a short one. I have here two Echo Flow Delta II power stations. One powers my office at all times. The second one is a backup that I keep put away in a Faraday cage in case we have any problems with the sun or an EMP or something like that. And I get questions all the time. How can you add a spare battery to a solar generator or a power station? That's going to be next Sunday's video, so come on back for that. I'll show you how to add any LifePo battery to any solar generator easily, quickly, with one cable. Now these particular power stations are expandable. There's a little lever on the side here you can open up and you can buy a special cable so that you can mount one battery to another, basically doubling your capacity. These are 100 amp hours a piece. They're, they're about 1,200 watt hours, and everything's built in. So this is not going to be a how-to video on how to use this. This is going to be a video on how you can easily daisy chain these together and, and in essence, double your capacity. Now, honestly, I'm not sure why you might want to do that when these have plugs built into each other. All you have to do is unplug whatever you have in one when it goes dead, and plug into the other quick and simple but there are people that want to know if you can hook them together and you can very easily in order to do this the first thing you have to do is make sure that they're both powered up to 100 percent if they're not level if this one's at 80 percent and this one's at 100 percent they won't level out and you won't be able to really see what's going on so they're both powered up to 100 percent 99 hours is what it sits at standard these, by the way, will hold power for six months. I know because I've had one in a closet fully charged for six months and it stayed at 100%. I pulled it out to make this video. Once you're at 100% on both, all you have to do is turn them around. When you turn them around, there's a little door on the back side. This is where your charging station gets its power from. You can plug it into solar panels. You can plug it into the cigarette adapter in your car, your 12 volt system or you can plug it into house power using the cord that it comes with. Now here's where we get fun. I want to link these two together. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my power cord. I'm going to plug it into the inlet. Now in this configuration, I can plug this in in the house and it will charge this unit in about two hours. By doing so, I'm taking and putting power from the house into my unit. Now, if I want to do it the daisy chain way, all I have to do is plug my one unit into my other unit and turn it on. Now, both of these units are now connected together. One is feeding off the other. Now you get a little bit of power loss. It's about 10%. So this effectively takes two generators and adds it, makes it from 100% to 190%, doubling your capacity. It also doubles the amount of plugs you have if you still want to use them independently you can do that let me get something to plug in and show you a load what I have here is the fan from my office I'm just gonna plug this into the back as of normal but I want to plug it in to the one that's being fed not the one that's doing the feeding so in this case this is the one that's doing the feeding this is the one that's being fed I want to plug into this unit now my fan is on, it's running, and you can see the difference between the one that's being fed and the one that's feeding. 
This one will stay at 100%. This is the one that's going to show you how much power is being used. And in this case, it's 32 watts. I can power this fan for 32 watts for 21 hours. Once that 21 hours is gone, then this one will start showing what the difference is. So I've effectively taken both of these, daisy chained them together, doubled my capacity. So if you like solar Sundays and you want to come around and see different kinds of videos, Sunday will be all about solar. The rest of the week will be about machines and reviews. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button somewhere between my chin and my balls. Hit the like button on your way out. Nothing's for free. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.